Well, good morning, everyone. We are going to have an amazing day today. It's 6.30 in the morning, sunrise is just coming up, and we got the boys rolling up because, man, I am excited to tell you guys, if you don't already know, we are flying to Japan. This is gonna be a long day, and we're going back to Ebisu, and I have a bunch of stuff planned for you guys. Still trying to wake up, but no need for coffee this morning because the energy of just going back to Japan has all of us fired up. Let's load up the truck, and I have more stuff to tell you guys. Let's go. What's up, brother? Hello, brother. Good morning, brother. Good morning, brother. What's up, big brother? Hey, guys. Also, I just want to shout out, got the truck detailed. Thank you, Sabrina, for going and getting it washed. I'll miss you. Just got to our gate, we're getting ready to board our flight, and look who decided to join oh. us. Welcome <laughs> to the party. So we have an 11 hour flight to Japan. It's gonna be a long one. We're gonna take high doses of sleeping medication, we're gonna power through it. Nate is sick, by the way. So if you, if Nate's a little awkwardly quiet, mm -hmm. decides to get sick the day before Japan. Yeah, chooses that day. I didn't choose Why'd this? you choose that? Way to go, nerd. Hey, it's just a test. Traveling with Dylan is like traveling with a full-size baby. What the, you almost made it in, dude. What was that? So this is gonna be Dylan's first time to Japan. I'm first time in Japan. What are you most excited for? I don't know, dude. I've been wanting to go since I was like 10. So it's like all of my childhood fantasies and then all of my new older boy drift car culture fantasies. So probably episode, to be honest. Dude, I'm so excited that we're doing like a boys drift trip. Me and Dylan talked about doing this trip over a year ago. Yeah. We were like, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go to Ebisu. We're gonna spend a lot of time there and get to drive. And like I said, have some more surprises sorry. once we get to Ebisu, which sorry. I'm happy to show sorry, you as well. well. But it's gonna be very cool. All right, so we just got to what is going to be our home for the next 11 hours. And we have a nice lay down seat. For those of you who saw the Qatar vlog where we went to Doha, doesn't live up to that, but this is definitely gonna be a little bit easier. You have a little cubby back here for some space, some lights, we have our plugins, we have our TV, and this whole seat will go to a lay down bed as well. So once we get into it, we're probably gonna try to fall asleep and kill some time. I just woke up after being asleep for about four or five hours, and we got some barbecue chicken, a salad, some cornbread, and some shrimp. Not bad way to fly. All right, we're finally landing. Check it out. begin every time I normally come to Japan the moment we come through the customs gate we usually have someone who's already here who kind of acts as our chauffeur but with us today we have no chauffeur Central that's exit. you today that's you're the chauffeur today it's me and Nate we're gonna be going to get a rental car and then we're gonna be driving over to top rank but first off we need to figure out how to go and get the rental car and we need to get to south that's all we have to do really. or central. central we're in south we're in south exit C1 Arrival four. Let's see if we can find this shuttle. <laughs> Update, we found the shuttle. We hope, we hope it's the right one. Our chariot awaits. Look at this whole thing. It's just so adorable. It's called a Noah, a Toyota Noah. They put me in the captain's seat. TJ wanted to drive. You're like, please, please. Probably the safest option. Please let me drive. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> it it honestly is the best. Are you guys excited? Yeah. You guys are a bunch of sardines back there. I'm sorry, but I, but you guys are sardines. Yeah. It yeah. looks bigger. It's pretty tight. Everything's compact here. The lanes are so small. Yeah, this is the biggest lane we've seen since we left the airport. <laughs> this windshield's super big there. Look at all this space that's wasted. Two years later, we have arrived back at top rank. This is where they keep all of their customer cars and cars that they're selling. And this is where I took delivery of my Bayside Blue for the first time years ago and got to see it. So we're gonna be meeting up with Masa, who if you guys watched the last set of Japan videos, you know who that is. And if not, I'll introduce him to you guys briefly. Masa! Masa! What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, 
two were so excited. What's up? Oh yeah. You guys got anything cool inside? Yep. Wanna give us a little peek of what you guys got in there? Sure. Oh, it's been too long since I've been here. Two years? It's been two years, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it. Oh man. Oh, you're gonna love this for sure. Oh God. Wow. Oh, you guys added all this stuff. Yeah. So this will be our new showroom. Uh, it will be unveiled later this year. Wow. Yeah. Here is it. Oh my gosh. You want to pick up something cool? Yeah. What do you got? Oh yeah. Dollar show car. H3. Yep. Oh. God. Did someone already buy this? No, it's for sale. You can buy it if you want. A million bucks? I'm more than a million. Yeah, no thanks. Wow. Yeah, the, I only saw the other one that's uh, in California. Yeah. Wow. This is another one. This is uh, bill number six. This was been unknown for the past 20 something years. Dang. We just got it from the, directly from the previous owner. It's been kept, it's a bit on the, um, mid mileage, 82,000 uh -huh. kilometers. Well, cool, it means you drove it at least. Yeah. Wow. It has full records, everything inside. Oh, I want to show you live. Wow. The cool thing about this car. Oh, Midnight Purple 2. Yeah. Hey. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, Masa, be careful. I have a Midnight Purple 2 car. You have to like that. Bayside Blue is the best. Yes, I agree. Bayside Blue is, is amazing. Kev, S15. Kev's been talking about buying an S15 for so long. I know, dude, I'm, yeah, it's gonna make me want one. You were looking for a while of I getting was. one and we, you were gonna take delivery I while was. we got we're, here. We're trying, to, we're trying to have a little surprise set up and have one here when we were here, but that didn't work out. So now we're gonna be looking, we're gonna be looking. What do you, what do you have, Masa? Ooh, dang. I just bought the Nismo gold key for my car. Yeah. That wasn't cheap. I can only imagine how much the 400R one costs. Oh, guess what? 10,000 bucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. No thanks. Wow. Wow. How cool is that? So how long have you guys had this one? You like just, we just got, got it? it? We just got it. Wow. We just got it. Well, check this out. So if you haven't noticed, this car doesn't have a livery, but actually the oh, previous right. owner kept the original livery inside. Wow. With the full box is intact. Look. Wow. Still wrapped in paper. Yeah. Damn. I don't want to even touch I it. I know. I wouldn't even touch it. Look at that box. How cool that is. See? Damn. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Original RV X GT2 engine. So rad. Yeah. It's all full original. Even the hood. Yeah. It's a drag car that came from back in the 90s. Wow. For those of you who remember, this right here is our Bayside Blue R34. I've kept this one in Japan just because now that we have the Midnight Purple 2 in the States, I wanted to have one here so that when I do come here, I can drive it and have it and I don't need to worry about getting a rental car or anything. But unfortunately, uh, a couple, I don't know, last week or so, we found a noise and it's like a wheel bearing or something like that. So they really suggest that we don't take it. So unfortunately, we're not going to be taking our Bayside Blue during this trip. But my good friend Yaska from Top Rank was like, it's okay, you can just take my R34. So we're gonna be taking this R34 today and this is gonna be our 34 for the trip. It is beautiful, super cool. And he's got the LMs on there too. What? S15s, oh. <laughs> Let's get an interior check. Oh, yeah. oh it's locked. It's got the Nismo seat covers just like ours. Is mine unlocked? Let me look. I haven't seen this old girl in like two years. She's locked too. Good to see her though. Bummed we're not gonna be able to drive it, but uh, I don't wanna take it out, especially if there's a weird noise or anything like that. But I'm not gonna complain, we get the black skyline, so gonna be just as cool. Hell yeah. Sweet, oh, oh damn, Yaska's is nice. I know. Yaska's is super nice. So actually Yaska's car is a little bit special because we done a basically a chassis refresh to this vehicle. Really? So this car has uh, over 100,000 miles on the car, but we completely refreshed the whole of the bushings. Okay, so, so it's gonna drive super nice. Oh yeah, it feels brand new. Yeah, awesome, so cool. Well Yaska, if you're watching this video, personal thank you, I appreciate uh, you trusting me to take your car. I'm gonna treat her really well. And oh, he's got some little bits on here. The carbon fiber deck blade, 
Oh, and this is V-spec too. This yeah. one's not a V-spec. Yeah, don't eat potato chips inside Yaska's car or he'll kill you. <laughs> Yaska, I promise I'll keep it clean, I promise. <laughs> and then you round the corner and the boys are gone in the weeds over there, but so many cars, so many cool things. All the cool stuff we love at home that we don't really get to see that much of. Dude, it's, it's so much to S15, S15. <laughs> Evo 5s, Evos in the back, R33s, R34s, R34s. We spent all day here. Yeah, man. You, our own cars. You, could, you, you could spend so much time here. Dude, I'm, been, I'm looking at every 15 on the lot. Damn. This is what I want. A nice little clean stocky. Kev, I think you would look good. I also think you would look good in an R34 GTT. I think so too, honestly. I feel like that would be a hot car Look, I found Dylan's car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dylan, come play next to your car. What is that? I don't even know what that is. I don't know. Ooh, Spec R. I know you're the Gannys on it too. Ooh, yeah. Spec R, keep it all factory aero, wheels. That's the S15 I'd want for sure. So here's something that we do not see in the States. This is Masa's car. Masa, what is this thing? It's a Toyota GRMN Yaris. Well, what's GRMN is basically it's a top dog of a GR Yaris. Uh-huh. So it has a factory carbon hood. Uh, wow, uh, really? Yeah, factory carbon hood. The roof is actually a little bit different. It's a full-on dry carbon roof. And the factory rear wing carbon. Wow, obviously. this is factory. Yeah, everything Ev is factory. Everything, this whole thing. Yeah, Dude, and... how wide it is. Yeah. yeah. And then the BBS forged wheels with... Oh. Uh, AO 52s. Wow. All from factory? It, all from factory, what yes. What? Yeah, this is sick. Yeah, this one that's like, so tight up here. Yeah. Oh, it's locked. Masa, yeah. it's locked. The seats are the best. Yeah, it's the Recaro buckets. That's factory too? Yeah. Wow, I can actually see it on camera a little bit. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They're like they're like buckets. They're like actually bucket yeah, seats. Yeah, uh, right? actual bucket seat, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it has a it has a like a roll like a Half cage inside too, dude. This thing is so sick. Man. Yeah. Rips. Why we don't have these in the states, I just I'll never understand that. But so cool. Just drove down the street and we have a three-hour drive to Ebisu tonight. So we're gonna eat now, and we found a curry house. This one or that one? Which one do you guys want? I don't know. What we're this so this for. right here. I think green green is good. Red is bad. Oh yeah, that's what that means? Okay. All right, that's what my gut instinct says. For uh, here to go. For here. All right. I want this one. How can you make it spicy? Oh, I want this one. Oh, uh, what's the difference? Ooh, we need masa. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. What? Uh, we're just remembering that we don't read Japanese. I'll translate for you. Okay, <laughs> you wanna try? Luckily, we have masa here to save the day. Yep. We also had to go to an ATM and get some yen. 10,000 yen, balling on a budget, 10,000 yen. Mm -hmm. All right, first meal, we have curry. Who's gonna give, a, who's gonna give the review? Uh, I'm scared it's gonna, no, it's gonna be really hot. I'll, I'll try it out. Mm, dude, I don't know what it is, it hits different. Ooh, it's a little it's tomato, so good. more tomato-y than it's I thought. Bro, bomb, bomb, 10 out of 10. We all haven't eaten in a while, so we're dying to eat right now. This is a nice GTR, it's pretty stock, drives really nice. Reminds me a lot of mine back at home, just all new bushings, all new everything. Drives like she's brand new. Now we have a three hour drive to Ebisu. Just wanna let you boys chill with me for a second here. No music, no talking, just driving an R34 GTR in the middle of nowhere in Japan. Just cruising. An honestly very beautiful thing coming out here. Me and Nate were just talking about it. So our experiences, I think everyone watching can agree that we all dream to go out and do. And I'm so thankful to be here with my boys and I'm so thankful for all you guys watching who have been watching forever or if you're a newcomer you guys watching these videos allow this opportunity for us and allow these experiences and for that I am forever grateful thank you boys for rocking with us we have an hour and 14 left to go till we reach our destination
We've traveled 23 hours to see you. Oh, Are you sleeping? <laughs> I'm so tired. What are you doing? Sleeping. Oh, what? Look at this grout fit. Nice grout fit. What's grout fit? Gray outfit. Oh, thanks, buddy. Grout fit. Yeah. Wow. God, I, it's crazy seeing someone as big as you here. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. GTR parked, walking into the hotel. It's officially been 20 three hours Tattoos are love. since we have started this video. That is 23 hours of travel. I'm tired. We still have to edit this video because we're gonna try to post every day while we're here. At least that's the plan. Room check vibes. Small, nice, convenient room. Guys, I'm absolutely gassed. Uh, so tired. We're waking up in like seven hours. If we can sleep through the night, we're 16 hours ahead of California. So quite the time jump. We're gonna do our best to adapt. I'm gonna edit this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Boy, do I have something special to show you guys. Stay tuned for that video. As always, thank you for watching. Peace out and keep moving. Full. Full fly.